Hello, Travelers of the Stars. I am Marek, and this is Tomes of Awesome. As uh, previously stated on my other videos, I'm here to give a review of games that are both awesome or possibly popular, but mostly awesome, especially since sometimes these awesome games fall in between the cracks. Now, that won't always be the case with my reviews, but it is especially the case in this one. Before we move forward, please go forward and hit the like and subscribe buttons, no bell notification, if you, and you'll get notified when I do release a new video. Uh, I'm on uh, vacation time right now, so I can actually record more content, which I plan to upload in the next few days. Um, this is, of course, Perception, because we are literally right at the doorstep of Halloween. I did do a review of this game before, but in this half an hour segment, I want to complete Chapter 1. This game has chapters, but it is not like the usual five-part series from Telltale, where they do like a five-part. This has more to do with all the different families that live in the house. We play, once again, a blind woman named Cassie who has come to this house because she's been having nightmares and visions about it in her sleeping and during her waking, and she wants to know why. Last time we were playing, we were dealing with having to go get pregnancy pills for a ghost that's pregnant and suffering from morning sickness. No, I'm not joking. Let's just jump right on in, and I hope you enjoy. This game uh, plays a lot like Daredevil, as in you tap the cane and you like see the sound echolocation style, which is a very interesting way of playing. Uh, for those who didn't see the first video, this game was funded on Kickstarter by the fans for the fans and was made by a very small game studio. In fact, I think this is the only game they've ever made. So they've put everything, all the stops into this one game, and it's... <laughs> Very cool. Also, if you listen here, you can actually tell different surfaces based on how they sound when you tap your cane. Basic movement controls work. Uh, if you hold a L2, that ultimately is where we need to go in order to advance the story setting. Anything green is something that you can manipulate and generally right now we are just walking through though i will tell you in this game you don't want to make too much noise however i have this on the casual setting so we don't have to worry about any giant alien roach monsters coming out and eating our face off uh every time you sneeze the wrong way so this way i can just kind of show you guys the storyline i've always loved this agate's healing properties but last week when i had a stomach ache I went to touch it, and it was hot. The stone wasn't in the sunlight or by a heater, and the stones around it were cool to the touch. What really worries me is that it's a protection stone. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Never mind, we have to go back down on the first floor. As I once told another YouTuber who was playing this game, if you want to have a drinking game where you're basically going to get super drunk, take a shot every time you say, oh, I know where I'm needing to go, and then walk right into a wall, because it's going to happen a lot. <laughs> I love the fact that you can see the path of the wind there through windows and doors. It makes this game visually just really, really fantastic. So I'm going to try not to tap my cane too much in here because with the terracotta floor, I have a feeling it's going to make way, way, way more noise. It was the tree in my dreams and I just forgot. Apparently the house really wanted you to see what that tree. Who's here? No crouching in this game, unfortunately, but you can hide in things. Oh, yeah, that's right, Felicity. Do I need to go? Okay, I need to go over there. Honey, can you grab the 
pills you prescribed me for morning sickness. I left my purse in the car. Yeah, sure. I'll grab them. Jesus. this way sometimes i mean i don't normally like going for the hints but sometimes in this game the house is so large or changes periodically that sometimes you just kind of need to do it you know and the furniture has rearranged again don't you hate it when furniture just moves on its own like damn it i was trying to walk through that doorway please do not pile boxes up uh, who who am i talking what what just that's ridiculous but we are in a haunted house so let's just go with it tree was apparently we need to go this way huh see what I mean it looks like it oh okay it looks like it was right there I was like there's a wall in front of me isn't there see you want to get super drunk, just make it into a drinking game. Every time you accidentally walk into a wall, chug a beer. You'll be drunk in less than three seconds. Trust me. Once again, I just, I love the path of the wind. What the heck is that? Okay. Imagining things, Cass. Here's the old walkway. Is this the garage? Ow. Ah, here's the car. Open the side door. Now I should probably tell you guys, the fact that the screen turned orange or red like that is because it made way too much noise. You want to be careful not to do that. Yeah, let's take a scan. Delphi, text to speech. Patient, Briar, Felicia. 20 milligrams fluxodine, tabs. Instructions, take twice daily with water. Dr. Richard Briar. What kind of doctor prescribes to his own wife? The kind who probably thinks it's cheaper. Uh, however, let me point out that that Delphi scan to speech th thing we just saw is as far as I know it's an actual app for blind people in the real world so as this game is called perception ironically or just interestingly enough it's literally showing you the kind of tech that blind people can use in this modern day world in order to get around so you are literally seeing a different point of view no pun intended? I'm not sure if that's a pun, New but... text message from... Sounds about Surge. right. Hey, about to board. What's up? Not angry, just concerned. Look, I need answers. I just got here, and... This shit's messed up. I'm onto something. And I'm starting to think I'm having these nightmares for a reason. Message sent. Sides. Gotta give pregnant pills to a pregnancy ghost who's suffering from uh, morning sickness. So you know, important this stuff. This place is happening. feels different. Security safety gate here. That would imply that the child is already either here or they've prepped for a child. guess he doesn't want unusually large groups of people stopping by, but he wants his wife to make friends, but don't bring them around the house. What the hell is wrong with you? Uh. <laughs> Alright, that's where I came from. Oh, closed door. Okay. I'll be out 
talking a bit. Um, just, just leave it on the bar, honey. Thank you. Bar? Oh, right here. Of course. Here's your birth control uh, yeah, pregnancy pills, Miss Pregnant Ghost. Snooping. Yes. We gave the pregnant ghost uh, the pills for her morning sickness. Now let's go back to snooping this clearly haunted house. Fire is hate, bad. Hate. Hate fire. Why does she hate fire, though? It's a pretty good question. Okay. I probably said this in the last video, but, uh, in the options, you can change it so that the uh, cane makes more more visibility and makes less sound and all kinds of things like that. So you can enjoy this game on your own at your own difficulty pace. It's not like a specific set only kind of thing. So that way everyone can enjoy this game uh, to whatever setting they enjoy. So those who enjoy this game and like the terror, you know, they can ramp it up. And those who just... Who is master of the world? Oh, it's a radio thing. And those who want to uh, just enjoy the storyline, but without having to run and hide every 15 minutes, they can do their thing too. It makes this game really nice. Terrifying mandibles. Nothing stops the insects. They are utterly ruthless in their lust to destroy. Roam and gorge to their heart's content. Laws of nature are inexorable. Life. Oh. This has got to mean something. There's that tree again. I'm not gonna lie, this tree has uh, some serious meaning. Uh, throughout all the chapters of this game. It, the tree is one of the main things about the game. I thought I had a memory of the night sky. Not sure if that's possible. I wonder what the stars sound like. That's actually a good point. Like, most of these things uh, you click on, we trigger a memory or something, but how can you use sound to see stars, you know? So it's kind of an interesting point of view that Cassie just expressed. Like, what do stars sound like? Is it a pulse, a wave of the radiation that we call light that comes out? Just interesting food for thought. Okay, we need to go back that way. Probably the exact direction I came from. What the hell does a rope, a ticket, and a goddamn apple have to do with anything? Why that? Messages. Why those items? Phone. Voicemail. Music. Voicemail. Voicemail. I know it's not the same as being there, but I had Jules record the game, and I think the sound's pretty amazing, and you can practically hear the pitch whistle. I'll send it to you in a bit to see what you think. If it works out, we well, might be able to stream you some games when I'm on the road. What does he mean he's broke? Oh, broke! Yeah, uh, Cassie? Uh, Cassie Thornton? Uh, my name is Will DeMarc. I run Back Alley Art. Uh, we feature underrepresented, avant-garde, and otherwise weird artists. I'm opening up a new place in Flagstaff, and I'm looking at some of your stuff as permanent fixtures. Listen, we can negotiate a price for the installation. We just want you on board. Hey, so the team, we had to stay in L.A. an extra night. I really wish I could be home with you. Uh, but I hope you're ready for a huge birthday dinner when I get back, because reservations are taken care of, okay? You just meet me at Pastino at 7, and you gotta wear that skirt. Yeah, you know which one. Hey, Cassie, it's Sharon here. Are you alright? I mean, you missed the final dress fitting, and you're not answering your phone. There's no way... Hey Cass, uh, it's me. I know we haven't talked in a while, but I just wanted to... 
I'm not sure why I'm even calling, truth be told. Uh, look, I was an idiot. And I'm sorry. I know that doesn't change or excuse anything, and I don't want to be one of those guys who says, it's not you, it's me, but uh, it's true. I was scared, and people do some pretty dumb things when they're afraid, I guess. Anyway, I just needed to get that off my chest and get that out there. I, I hope everything's okay. Cass, you can't dodge meeting my mom forever. Just wear the locket and stop making excuses, okay? She'll love you. Hey, Cass. Uh, it's Luke. Listen, thanks so much for talking to me last week. I've been thinking about it a lot, and you're right. There's no shame in needing help or not being able to handle it on my own, and it's unfair to put all of it on my friends. I have an appointment for next week. Hey, Cass. Uh, just a reminder that the moving truck will be dropping off my things at noon, not three. I, you know, I ran into Linda at the market. Hey, Cassie. I'm hosting... Hey Cass, not sure what you're up to this ride. Hey Cass. Hey Cass. What is I know it's not the same. Messages. Huh. Phone. Okay. Voicemail. Music. Voicemail. Voicemail. I know it's not the Messages. Messages. Michael. Hey there Cass. Unknown. Hey Cassie. This is- Unknown. Hey Cassie. This is your big brother. Haven't heard from you in ages. Just wanted to make sure you're okay. Me, at least eight guys have called themselves big bros over the years, so which is this again? Hashtag foster kid problems. Winky face. Unknown, touche. It's Eric. We lived with the Clarks for like a year and a half when we were in high school. Hash Evan, Cat Charles, Block Tidy, your messages. Okay, that's interesting. I don't remember, uh... The option there with the phone before. Messages. Message. Phone. Message. Okay, so all the up, down, left, and right buttons bring up the phone then, for those who are curious. Ah, oh, it's a file cabinet. Okay, Dr. B. What interests you enough to use as a key code? Gotta poke around some. Oh man, I know that too. I have I, I used to have it memorized. Dose two. The amipramine has caused vomiting and patient's hysteria has returned. Moving forward with a combination of manoamine, oxidase inhibitors, and tricyclic antidepressants. You know, I don't mind him offering prescriptions to his wife when she's pregnant, but recording messages like his pregnant wife is actually one of his patients, that's kind of strange. Not gonna lie. Can I look around behind me? Or, no? Okay. The hiding mechanic is only for when the monster shows up. Creepy little dolls that appear and disappear. Wee! Uh, the monster isn't going to show up as much on this version because I mostly wanted to show off the storyline. But on harder difficulties, it shows up with less and less noise. That's why I'm able to tap the cane as often without everything. I suddenly don't feel so good. About everything turning reddish orange and then from that to just straight up black and red when the color changes from blue to anything else you're pretty much on the verge of being you should be cautious and when it goes black and red you are screwed run and hide that's the only advice I can give to people who are playing this game hmm. interesting See what all is manipulable here. Scam with Delphi. Delphi, text to speech. The only star I can really seem to hone in on is IC2118. A fave, to be sure, but dot the stars are just wrong here. The worst part is that Felicia agrees. I should try 2118 for that key code. 
I have no idea other than obviously for the key code what that had to do with anything. I mean, he mentioned it's like the only star in the sky, so... I guess he's feeling lonely about the night sky image for the telescope. I'm not really sure how that applies, but obviously, I think... Sleep with us, Danny. Sleep with us. And that would have been Felicia there. Just a shot in the dark. But I wonder if that star the good doctor was referring to might be it. What was it again? I can't I go in anymore. I know my fingers fumble keys and sometimes I'm a little slower than before, but you can't keep me prisoner in this house, in this body. I don't want any more pills. I don't like where this is going. See, almost walked into a wall again. You gotta be careful in this game. It's also one of the catch 22s is you have to make noise and it will see the sound, but make too much. Well, you know. Okay, despite what I just said, it's been about half an hour, so I think I'm going to end this video here, but I am going to make a second one today, and I'll be uploading both of them tonight, so that was weird. You'll be able to enjoy that then. Until then, I hope you like and subscribe for more. This is Tomes of Awesome, signing off.